Hey guys, it's Shen, and you requested real-time videos of some of my Thanksgiving recipes. I was gonna do them faster on time-lapse, but you want a real-time, so here we go. This is my kale salad that, again, was also requested. Um, the salad is really versatile. It can be holiday, which is what we're gonna do now, a Thanksgiving or you know Christmas kind of seasonal theme. But you can also change up the ingredients that I'm gonna show you in a second that we add into the kale to make it more spring or summertime. So for the holiday version, seriously three ingredients, kale chopped up, pumpkin seeds roasted, roasted. The raw ones um, are definitely not as interesting as the crunchy flavorful roasted. And then I have pomegranate seeds, which you can peel yourself, which is a real pain and a mess, Or, but I did it here, or you can buy them already peeled. So. Um, if you were doing another time of year, you could do mango or strawberries instead of that, and sunflower seeds or almonds, um, slivers or pecans or something instead of the pumpkin seeds, but I like this combination for the holidays. It's pretty and it's yummy. So the first thing you wanna do is massage the kale. You've got to break it down. You gotta use your hands. That's really the best thing to do for it. So I'm gonna take off my jewelry because it is a messy, messy process. Make sure your hands are clean, and then you just wanna give it enough a little bit of oil, olive oil, drizzle, 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 drizzle. A little bit of lemon juice, drizzle, 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 drizzle. How much? I don't know, maybe a tablespoon. And then a little bit of salt. I think this is a quarter teaspoon. I'm not gonna fill it out of the way. So a little bit of salt. And what that does is help to break the kale down. It's gonna give it an abrasive quality. So then you're just gonna use your hands like this. This is the part where it can get boring, but you wanna watch. So here we go. It's starting to get a little bit brighter. I don't know if you can see that. It's getting a brighter green color as it begins to break down. Really get in there with your hands. Don't be dainty. I would sing, but you don't want me to sing. Because if you can see, it's already breaking down in volume a little bit, getting smaller and smaller. I'm gonna keep going a little bit more. It's taking me about a minute or so. Not too long. Do you wanna get in there? I think that's pretty good. You can see it's a kind of a brighter green color and probably about half of the volume it was when we started. There's no liquid or anything at the bottom. Like I didn't put too much in there, but we're definitely down. So I'm gonna wipe this off and go rinse my hands. Watch the kale. All right, I'm back. So the next step is to make dressing. So we're gonna move the kale to the side. I'm gonna bring in another bowl. The dressing, again, is super simple. It is just lemon juice. Now I use, you can use fresh squeezed lemon juice. I use this stuff. I drink lemon juice every morning in some warm water. I love this stuff. You may think it's expensive. Yeah, sure, it's expensive, but there, it's just pure lemon juice. There's no sulfites or preservatives added to it, but compared to fresh lemons, it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot faster. So again, measurement, I don't know. Let's go for like a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. And here, same thing with some olive oil. A couple tablespoons of olive oil. This is super simple dressing. Okay. This is a good part, honey. Now I'm very fortunate my stepdad is a beekeeper, so I get super fresh, awesome quality honey. However, go local to where you are if you can, definitely fresh if you can get raw. Do that. How much honey? I don't know, how sweet do you want it to be? I don't know, probably a tablespoon or so of that. And then again, some salt, it's a quarter teaspoon, and some pepper. I have the biggest pepper mill known to man. It's good, and then you just whisk it up. You can feel the honey's kind of sticky in there. Just gonna combine it all, try not to make a mess. See? 
So olive oil, lemon juice, honey, salt, and pepper. Super simple dressing. It's mixed up nicely there. We're gonna bring the kale back Drizzle it over the kale. Remember, you can always add more later, so I'm not gonna add, add it all at first. Keep some still in there. I'm gonna toss those pomegranate seeds in there. Sure, why not? Let's go for all of them. And then some of the roasty, toasty, crunchy pumpkin seeds in there. I'm gonna use my hands. Isn't that pretty? We should smell it. it. Smells really good with those pumpkin seeds and the lemon juice. And that's it, it's a beautiful holiday salad. Can you see all those beautiful pomegranates? Um, people have told me as I've made these for different dishes before that they never ate kale. I'm like, well, try this salad. This is a kale convert. If somebody is anti-vegetable, especially deep green vegetable, have them try this, it's unbelievable. So this is dish number one. Enjoy holiday kale salad.